No matter what kind of business it is, it needs to show success. And for one farm family here in Idaho, some of that success comes from showing sheep. Thank you. Meet Rachel Fleming and Danielle Nurse. Some might call them the queens of competition when it comes to livestock shows. That's because these sheep sisters from RW Farms are taking home more than their share of prizes at the Western Idaho Fair in Boise. First place goes to RW Farms, second place RW Farms, third place uh... Suffice it to say, these sisters are a crowd favorite with winning sheep judged on size, cleanliness, and overall presentation. It's good. It's good. It feels good when you spend a lot of time on the sheep and you're going to all the national shows trying to buy the best, to breed the best. A lot of hard work paid off. <laughs> okay. Each sheep can take weeks of work to get show ready. It's especially hard to groom and form the wool coats. It's just pure wool. It's really soft. You get money for this. Mm hmm yes. Get premiums, yes. It can be a business. Definitely. That business began when a young Rachel Wilbur was just eight years old. She began bringing home sheep, and along with her sisters and parents, planted the roots of the family's RW Farms, named after young Rachel. Well, they started getting involved, and actually, we got up to 100 ewes, and we've been cutting down, because <laughs> the kids all left. <laughs> I'd say you took it to an entirely new level. <laughs> yeah. The first priority is getting the rams out. The, the day farm. starts early at the Wilbur Family Farm in nearby Nampa, Idaho. Raising sheep for breeding stock, meat sales, wool, and of course, competition. From the beginning, it has been an all-in-the-family affair. Can you throw it clear down there? Do it. The Wilbers see their sheep business as more than just raising livestock. Brian and Dee have full-time jobs off of the farm, but working with their daughters and showing sheep in competition allows them to share a bit about agriculture with an audience that's never been to the country. So many people don't know anything about it anymore. We had a little girl recently that uh, got a hold of the sheep and said, wow, that feels like cotton. You know, they, they had no idea what wool was, but at least they knew what cotton was. But uh, agriculture just getting kind of lost in the mix. What is that, Cheyenne? On this morning, the Boise Fair delivers one of those hands-on lessons. That's another big plus about bringing these animals out here is to educate the public. The money you make in agriculture is very, very small, and so you gotta love what you're doing, and um, the general public needs to understand what you're doing too. You wanna touch it again? Whether it's go. education, business, or competition, the ribbons are a crowning achievement for a job well done, no matter the reason. And so this is what makes it all worthwhile for you? Yes, yes. <laughs> it's, it's like the end of a lot of work, yeah. A lot of work. <laughs> to get We've recognized, yeah. Mm -hmm. And to have fun, it is. It's nice to be recognized for all of this.